Hello, welcome to my channel, Willow and Binds. Thanks for joining me today. This video is going to be a homeschool haul video with items from Amazon, Target, and the book outlet. So um, get comfy, it's a bit of a long video. I like to ramble on as you'll soon see, but it's all fun, it's all things about homeschool. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So the first book in this haul is called Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster by Jonathan Oxier. It is actually um, about a story about an orphan who um, is a climbing boy, what they used to call climbing boys. And those were orphans that were owned by chimney sweeps. And their job was to clean the flues and protect their the homes from fires. But the work was really hard and just brutally dangerous. And this particular story is about 11 year old Nan, who is a climbing, climbing boy, but actually is a girl. And she um, becomes stuck in a deadly chimney fire and happens to be saved um, and, and wakes up in an abandoned attic where she realizes she's not alone and she's um, there's actually a creature in the room with her. It's um, a golem, which is made from ash and coal. And that is the creature that saves her from the fire. So it ends up being a story then about uh, this girl and her monster. And together how these two outcasts carve out a life, saving each other in the process. Um, so it is an adventure story about the everlasting gifts of friendship and hope. And it is for reading, reading age 8 to 12. Uh, it's fair and 78 pages long, but it just seems like it's going to be a really sweet story that I think I'm hoping that Grayson and I can add to our list of read alouds for this school. Or for this current school year. So the next books in this haul are also by Jonathan Oxier. Um, there are two books in this series and so I will talk about um, the first one first and that is Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes and this is a story about a 10 year old uh, blind orphan who is living a life of thievery and one afternoon he steals a box that contained, just so happens to contain three pairs of magical eyes. And when he tries the first pair of eyes, um, he is transported to a hidden island where he is given a um, special quest that he needs to travel to a dangerous Danish kingdom and rescue um, people in need. So he ends up embarking on an adventure and um, discovers his true destiny. So the second book in the series is um, called Sophie Choir and the Last Story Guard. So this book takes place a couple years after the first book in the series. And um, Basically, Peter Nimble becomes summoned for a new mission, and that mission is to find a 12-year-old book mender named Sophie Choir. Now, Sophie herself um, doesn't know much beyond the four walls of her father's bookshop, where she repairs old books and dreams, basically, of escaping the confines of her boring life. Um, and that's when Peter Nimble and his talking cat horse companion um, show up with a rare mysterious book and then Sophie finds herself pulled into an adventure well beyond anything that she's ever read. So these books are for I would say the 8 to 12 year reading age and this book I think it's like 470 pages I think. Um, and then here's just kind of a look at what it looks like on the inside. I'm trying to gauge reading level. 
but so that looks like a fun series and these will just be for Grayson's um, independent reading uh, this school year. And so for this haul, we have yet one more book by Jonathan Oxier, and this one is called The Night Gardener. Um, so this book is a basically a Victorian ghost story with shades of Washington Irving and Henry James, um, but it's more than just a spooky tale. It's also like a moral fable about human greed and the power of storytelling. So what happens is this book follows um, two abandoned Irish siblings who travel to work as servants and at a creepy uh, English manor house. But the house and its family are not quite what they seem. And so soon the children get confronted by a mysterious specter and an ancient curse that ends up threatening their very lives. So um, this book also has some um, some art in it, some, um, I don't know if you can see, kind of the creepy little stairway there. It's not a lot, but there is some um, scattered throughout the pages. This book um, is actually as well for the eight to 12 year range and it's 372 pages. And I think we're gonna actually read this um, leading up to, or in the month of October, just because it is, there's a lot of creepiness and um, just kind of the atmos atmosphere of the book, I think will be nice leading up to Halloween. So that will be another book for us this school year. Um, also in this haul, we got picked up um, Who Was Abraham Lincoln? We are doing um, probably later this year, um, maybe in about another month, we will be starting our Civil War unit. And so I have quite a few of these that I picked up to just supplement that unit. Um, and we still have, didn't have the one yet on Abraham Lincoln. So these are great. Um, the reading level is... Um, going to be super simple for Grayson and so these books I think he can probably pretty much pound out in an afternoon so I think um, you know each time that we're studying this I'll just give him a different one of these um, that goes along with our topic so that he can um, just get some more information about each of these uh, different characters and their role in the Civil War um, these are really nice. I actually really like them too. There's a, there's so much information in them um, that even though they are um, pretty short and um, easy reading level, I myself learn quite a bit from these. So I they're only you know two or three dollars at book outlet. So I like to pick them up for whatever we're studying if I can. And along the same topic um, of our Civil War, I also picked up. Um, the Civil War primary sources from Amazon. And basically these are just um, individual pages that have a um, kind of an important picture um, th from throughout the Civil War. So um, and they're real printed on really great cardstock. They're really very pretty thick. And so I think this will just be like a nice supplement again with our um, Civil War unit. So I'll show you some of the some of the pictures. But this is an oil painting entitled The Peacemakers with President Lincoln and General Sherman and General Grant. Um, here this one shows the bombardment of Fort Sumter. Here is a photograph of Harriet Tubman. and the title page of Uncle Tom's Cabin. And then we also have here um, the 7th New York State Militia a photograph. Uh, some wounded soldiers in a hospital. So, um, and there's, there's, there's 20 in all. And in addition to the um, pictures that you get 
you also have access to a free um, 15 page teacher's guide at their website. So I think we'll be able to use these um, to supplement our Civil War unit study. So I'm looking forward to that. So along the same lines, I also picked up the World War II primary sources um, because in the new year, probably I'm guessing February or March at the latest, we're going to be working our way into World War II. So um, I'll show you some of the um, sources that are in here. This one's a picture of uh, Mussolini and Hitler. And then we also have um, a photograph of a burning synagogue in Nazi Germany. And this is a photograph of the USS Arizona that is burning after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Here is a photograph of Roosevelt signing the declaration of war against Japan in the wake of the attack on Pearl Harbor. And a poster advertising Rosie the Riveter. Here's a photograph of American dive bombers. And photograph of women at work on a bomber. And a photograph of a World War II ration book. Photograph um, from the um, ghetto uprising. So this is gonna be a really hard and tough topic, but Grayson is 12 and at that time he'll be going on 13. And so I just feel that I think he is um, mature enough and will be able to handle this topic, although I know it's um, a hard topic to cover. I think it it's something that we will try to do our best and study. Um, you know, it, it's hard. It, this will be a hard topic for us to cover. He's very sensitive, but it is history, and um, we need to make sure that history does not, never repeats itself. So we'll do our best when it comes to the teaching of World War II. So the next book in this haul is called The No-Nonsense Guide to Space, an awesomely fun guide to the universe. And um, while we're not specifically studying space this year, Grayson is interested in all things science. So I like to just have um, lots of these kind of fun um, reference or nonfiction type um, books laying around so that he can, he can just read them at his leisure. But this one, I don't know why, I just, I find the, art in it or the illustrations to be really quirky and fun and um, it still also just has bite-sized bits of information that I think makes it very easy to pick up and just read here and there. So it does go over the entire solar system, um, asteroid belt, comets, all the planets of course, the moon, and then it goes over galaxies and exploring space. And I know he's really super interested in black holes. So um, a lot of really um, nice little topics in here for him. But I just love like, let's see, like a lot of the planets and stuff, they have all these little faces and eyes. And of course it tells you just, you know, this is the amount of information on each separate topic so it's not too much it's not overwhelming but something easy to pick up and quickly just read but i don't know why <laughs> these illustrations i just i think i just love them so they're just they kind of are fun and um let's see back here there's pluto what a play let's pretend we're planets just little faces and but still, still really good information. Um, life cycle of the star, black hole there, exploring space. Uh, so if you have somebody that's enjoying or wants to know a little bit more about space, this, this book is a nice book. 
the next item in this haul is actually a box set that I got from Book Outlet that is called the Chronicles of Prydain. It's a five volume set. Um, it includes the Book of Three, the Black Cauldron, the Castle of Lyre, Terran Wanderer, and the High King. So, um, so here's the, the five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Um, this book actually, or this set from uh, Book Outlet was probably about half the cost of what it is on Amazon. Uh, this series is a, well, it's a fantasy series, and it's actually a Newbery winning series. Um, it is about Taryn, the assistant pig keeper, <laughs> and his quest to become a hero. He ha is joined by quite an engaging cast of characters, uh, like a strong-willed, sharp-tongued princess, and um, a bard and they all become involved in an epic struggle between good and evil and that um, it shapes the fate of the legendary land of Pradane. So Grayson loves fantasy and these are not terribly long books. You can see they're they're not too thick so I think this probably won't keep them too busy and probably um, take him about a week to work through this maybe so I'm hoping he likes it I think he will he loves all things fantasy so I think this he'll be happy to have this in his collection the next book in this haul is actually by Usborn it's a rub down transfer book for Christmas and it has over 1,000 transfers so I actually got this for both Grayson and I I think we'll both um, kind of have fun with it right around the Christmas time Here's some of the transfers. They come in this little pocket, but um, there's a bunch of penguins and Christmas trees, um, scarves and little birds, a bunch of little gingerbread um, items, things for gingerbread houses, a uh, bunch of birds and just little cute little decorations. And these all just, you just kind of rub them off on the pages. Here's a bunch of squirrels and snowflakes. Uh, again, some more gingerbread men and candy canes, ornaments, and lots of birds and ice skaters. And then the pages look like this. And one of the things I really liked about this is that on one page, there's something that you can color. And we, we have, we got some really nice art supplies this year. So we have um, the Arteza Inconic pens that are extremely fine tipped. So I think those will be nice to color in these, these coloring pages. And then over here is where um, you would transfer the rub-ons. So the whole book is like this, where you have one page to color and then one page for the rub-ons. And so there's gingerbread houses to decorate and snowmen and some birds ornaments, an outdoor scene with some squirrels. And my guess is this is snowflake page. So I think he'll just, it'll be something quick for us to do as we're counting down the days to Christmas. Something a little quick and fun, a little crafty. So that, I also got this off of Book Outlet. It's just a couple dollars, I think. The next item is another book. Now this is actually actually a poetry book called The New Kid on the Block, and they are poems by Jack Perletsky. And um, I don't know, a lot of his poems remind me, like they're along the same vein as Shel Silverstein. So they're kind of uh, funny or silly. They have a really nice, cadence and rhyme to them and then this book also has just some quick um black and white i don't know if they're quick but they have some black and white illustrations that um are pretty simple but go along with the the poem so there's quite grayson likes he loves poetry um first of all and 
Um, I just like to have, we each week we have a poetry journal and we select from all of our poems or we write on ourselves to include in our poetry journal. So I like to make sure that he has lots to look through to choose from or to get ideas from. So we decided to add this one this month and this book was actually from Amazon. Now this next book in this um, haul is, I was really, really pleasantly surprised by this book. It's the Random House Book of Poetry for Children and it actually is a treasury of 572 poems and the poems were selected by Jack Prelutsky. Um, so this is, it's not a, it does come with a jacket, but I prefer the books not to have jackets. So it, it is still very nicely illustrated hardcover. And there are just so many poems in here and they're really nice and there's all kinds of topics. Um, so many. Um, so some of the illustrations are like the set in the sepia tone, as you can see here. And then some of them are colored. Um, doesn't seem to be really like a rhyme or reason to it. They just kind of mixed it up. But there are lots of really, really great poems in here from many different uh, poets. So one of the things that I really like about this book is that in the back they have several indexes. Um, for example, here is an index of well, let's start at the beginning of the indexes if I can find that for you. So here's the index of titles. So everything is listed here by title. And then we also have um, an index of first lines, which I really also like. And also an index of, index of authors and also a subject index. So even though there's tons of poems in here, they do, they have made it easy for you to, um, if you're looking for poems on a particular topic, like we are doing a bird um, unit study right now. And so I was able to just look up birds and they have it listed in the subject area. Every time a bird is mentioned in a poem, they have that listed in the index. So that, I mean, there's lots of ideas that you could do with that. I mean, there's all kinds, there's topics about family and seasons and particular animals and school. I mean, this is just one of my favorite um, poetry books that we have. So now this book, um, A Child's Garden of Verses, is also another poetry book. Um, and I have to say the reason why I ended up getting this book was because of the illustrations. I had a book, um, I don't know if it's the exact same illustrator, but um, when I was when I was little, one of my favorite books had illustrations either by the same illustrator or along the same lines. And so I just, I just love these illustrations in here. They're very sweet. And again, like we just really love to add to our poetry book collection since um, actually, all of us enjoy that, and we like to have a lot to choose from, to choose poems from for our poetry um, tea time. So there are, again, lots of really nice um, poets in here, or poems to choose from, like a pirate story, singing, rain, a good boy talking about his dog. I just, I find the illustrations of the children for me, they're nostalgic, but also just very sweet. It, it's a very sweet poetry book. So we are happy to add this to our collection. And, you know, some of the pictures are, you know, pretty large. This one poem is take is for two pages there. Same with this one, The Gardener. So the flowers, just, it's a very sweet poetry book. I just, I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad that we added it to our collection. Okay, the next couple items in this haul are actually from Target and they're from the um, Cat and Jack line. 
I just picked them up a couple t-shirts and what I really liked about these um, is that uh, we are going to be studying after our bird um, unit study. We are going to be doing uh, biology um, RSOs, biology two, so real science odyssey biology two this year. And so I love this t-shirt. Um, it has the life cycle of a frog on it. I don't know if you can see that. So I just thought it was fun for him. I mean, it was only, I think $6. And sometimes I get um, tired of, I think especially shirts that are meant to be for boys and they're always, it just seems like they focus on sports. So I'm really happy when I can find ones that are like more, um, this could be for anybody, a boy or a girl, anybody could wear a life cycle of a frog shirt and it's a little informative and I think it's, um, Great to focus on something besides sports like maybe science and then in addition in addition to that we also have this is another cat and jack shirt um again i think it was six dollars yeah and this one just says go science and since we're going to be doing biology like i said this has the double helix for the dna and last year we studied chemistry and so i know i think he'll He'll like this t-shirt as well and they're they're pretty soft um i think if you've never tried cat and jack from target that you would be really surprised for about the quality for the um for the price so we are pretty happy with cat and jack stuff here here's a little interesting item in this haul but it came in the target box so i thought i'd just include it but um these are hearth and hand with magnolia their um, room sprays and they're also not very expensive like five dollars i think something like that and they're come in nice bottles rather than plastic and they smell somewhat citrusy um i'd say more lemon but um in case you hadn't seen these yet at target they're nice and they look nice out on the counter and, and they smell good okay this next book in this haul is super fun and super scary. So uh, I got this off of Amazon. It's called Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. And it is actually um, all three scary story books that um, are in this one hardback book. And it also comes with all the original art. So I'm not, I'm not sure if you've seen these before, but these, we've had these before, but not in this hardback book. My other kids have had them. Uh, my older kids that are out of the house now and so I'm not sure what happened to those original copies but when I saw that it had all of them in one hardback book I thought that would be really fun to have now that I think Grayson can handle these. Um, they're still I would say like tween friendly. I mean they are scary stories but um, I, I, it says here ages 8 to 12. So, but they are scary. And what I think is some of the scariest things about them are actually the, the art, the illustrations are completely creepy, which, um, you know, if your kid is super sensitive to that, this is not the book for you. But if for um, like campfire stories or Halloween, something like that, or sleepovers, um, they kind of are fun and they're short. The stories can be really super short. Um, so it's really nice for campfire stories. And we have campfires out on our deck quite a bit. And so this is a nice book to read by flashlight. And it is pretty creepy. So, um, but I think that's kind of the fun of it too. So if you're looking for something like that, that's, this is actually all three of the books, um, gosh all three of the books in one with all of the original art which kind of makes the books so again let me show you the cover in case that's something you're interested in scary star stories that tell in the dark three books to chill your bones now if you take off the jacket cover it is just a black book so um and it was amazon i think it was like I think it was less than $15 for this book. 
Okay, now the last item for this haul is actually a throw. So I am a blanket. I am such a sucker for a good blanket. This is from Amazon and it's from their Christian Robinson um, brand or label and put out by Pillow Fort. So what it is, I don't know if you can see in the picture, but it actually has, like I said, we were gonna do, we're doing biology after our bird um, unit study. And this blanket actually has the life cycles. Um, so there's the life cycle of a flamingo, a frog, a butterfly, a bumblebee, a flower, a fish, and a tree. And it's super soft and also it's reversible. So let me take this off so I can show you. So the one side is blue and then it has all of the life cycles going across. But then the other side of the blanket, if you can see, is like almost like a rainbow of colors. And um, you can see the life cycles on that side as well. So we like to have lots of blankets because we like to take them out on the porch. Um, let's see here, if you can see, there's the flamingo. So it shows you about the size of it. Um, and then here are the different stages of the flamingo. They get a little smaller. It's kind of hard to do this in a, in a video, but a little baby flamingo and the egg. <laughs> but it does that for all of them on both sides of the blanket. So here's the flamingo, the full grown flamingo on the back side, which is lots of colors. So uh, the other thing is I don't think this blanket will snag very much. So I think this will be a really nice blanket for outside on the porch. A lot of our other blankets have Sherpa on the one side. And if you've ever had those, you know, like if they come in contact with any dirt, it's like stuck to the Sherpa forever. So I think this will be a nice blanket for outside. So this is actually the last item in the haul. So it's called Slow Down. It's 50 Mindful Moments in Nature. And um, I really like this book for both Braden and Grayson. It's just a really um, sweet science moment book. It has um, lots of topics. So what happens is like every time you um, turn a page, like a two page spread, it goes over something that if you stop and look and listen and pay attention when you're outside, you might notice. And so it does have um, a lot of nice illustrations, very colorful and information, again, that is in bite-sized pieces, but um, also for Brayden, he does have Down syndrome. And so sometimes books like this that are almost told like in a little bit of a story with lots of pictures for him, um, it makes it a little bit easier. So um, we've been trying to do one of these each day. So, but each, each, um, each two page spread is just a really sweet, um, summary of something that you find out in nature and science and i just i can't recommend it enough so if you have stuck around the end of this haul i appreciate it and thanks for um, visiting my channel and i hope that you come back and i hope that your school year is going well in this crazy time that we're all experiencing here with the pandemic, but I hope that everybody's staying safe and having a really great school year.